Thank you, Chloe. Great to be here at Dartmouth. This was an article about me and about this event. It was this the last day or two by one Kyle Mullins, editor-in-chief of the Dartmouth paper. This is Kyle Mullins' quote. I was planning to publish a column this week about free speech. O'Keefe will be the latest in a long line of unserious, lie-peddling provocateurs. This is one of the most serious stories we ever broke at Project Veritas. This was given to Project Veritas by a whistleblower inside ABC News. When the editor-in-chief of the Dartmouth Review says that we're unserious and lie-peddling, was he talking about this story? ABC News spiking the story? What could be more serious than this? Don't take my word for it. The story was the number one trending story on Apple News. And it wasn't just Fox News that covered it. The Washington Post covered it. The Associated Press picked it up. Many other organizations picked it up, including People Magazine, The New York Post, Variety, and Spin. Even The New Republic, no fan of Project Veritas, had the headline that said, quote, is James O'Keefe good now? Even Ocasio-Cortez retweeted the video. She promptly unretweeted it when I posted the picture of her retweeting it. This is Amy Robach's reaction to our video, quote, I was caught in a private moment of frustration. So I have to ask, why is the Dartmouth anarchists opposed to what I'm doing here? This is a video of a teacher union boss in New Jersey. David Perry is his name. Kyle selectively edited out of his article this investigation. Why didn't Kyle report on this? This is a big story. This is a union boss in New Jersey. Isn't this the sort of thing that Antifa should be against? Powerful people working in concert to hurt kids? And there's another one we did, New Jersey. President of the Union City Education. Here's another example, Steve Wentz, president of the Kansas Teachers Union. He sued us for defamation and lost in federal court. Although the Wentz video includes select footage from the bar conversations, and other edited material, the edits do not improperly and illegally alter the meaning of Wentz's words. Project Veritas has never actually lost a lawsuit. Even The Hollywood Reporter wrote, love him or hate him, O'Keefe has been establishing legal precedents throughout the nation. And where this is not the only thing we've exposed, we've exposed voter fraud in Minnesota. This guy, who it's almost like a South Park episode of voter fraud, it's actually against the law to have more than three ballots in Minnesota. In fact, in one of these clips, you can actually see the ballot harvester and you can see the money being exchanged for the absentee ballot. The New York Times did a story about this. And one of the things the New York Times said when I was making claims without evidence. Well, unlike the New York Times who says people familiar with the matter, I don't require you rely upon people familiar with the matter. I just show you the videotape so you can see the face and you can see what they're saying. So we ended up suing the New York Times for defamation. You're all very smart at Dartmouth. Hopefully you know I am a public figure. To prove defamation, I have to prove that they knowingly lied about me. And a judge said there was sufficient evidence to go into discovery against the New York Times for defaming me. So it was the New York Times that engaged in disinformation and deception, according to the judge. This is a New York Times national security reporter talking about January 6th, and I sat down with him. Sort of the person stood up, and I sort of sat down uh, where she was sitting. Now, what's interesting about that was one of the things that he said to the girl, if you're talking in public at a bar, it's fair game. <laughs> he quite literally said, this is what makes our newspaper. These are not people in third grade. These are not random people from the telephone directory. These are Pulitzer Prize winning journalists at the New York Times. I haven't shown you anomalies. I'm showing you the award winning journalists that are supposed to hold the powers that be to account. And the people that do hold the powers that be to account are targeted, attacked, defamed, slandered, lied about, so that people are afraid to do anything about it. 